When a client reaches out to me and says, love your style, we want something similar to what you've created before, but for our brand, then I know that I'm on the right path to success in creating something unique, original, and that is different from everyone else. Take a look at this video, for example. So some of you may have already seen that video months back when I originally posted it on the channel, but it was tagged on at the end of a video, a talking head video, it has terrible retention, so a lot of you probably didn't even see the finished product, so that's why I've shown it again. But if you like, maybe in the next upload, I can do an editing breakdown of this one. It's one that I'm pretty proud of because it was exploring techniques that I've never even thought possible I could do. 24 hour renders for certain aspects, for example, um, After Effects skills that I never possessed before. I think it's a, a true case of me developing a style that is kind of almost unique and original to me and clients liking it and wanting it for their video. I mean, if you were to say to anyone, okay, here's the bottle, film it, don't 3D render it, but animate the items. Where do you begin? I face that challenge and it'll be an interesting video to show my process if you want to see it. So let me know down below. It's not the greatest video, obviously. It goes away from uh, the things I talked about, like keeping it short and simple, 15 seconds, all that stuff. But it's more for a showcase for the agency that I was doing of the design work they had created. So they wanted like a minute long video. Uh, so that's why it's, it's filmed the way it is. I just had something on my mind about creating your own path on your route to kind of becoming a content creator or a product commercial shooter. Try and find your own voice. And when I say voice, I mean style. You know, we all get hung up on the big creators and we're, we love the fact that we can create something similar and it looks like their, their work, but that's the problem. It looks like their work. So I'm not saying copy what I do, I'm saying develop your own style, see where it takes you, learn new skills all the time, push yourself, and who knows where it will take you. Because I'm this is this is not the first time I've been, you know, a client's got in touch saying, we like the style of what you're doing on the channel. Can you do something similar? Uh, and I'm not even an animator, so this is crazy to think that people are reaching out because of my animation style. What is your style? We all copy you because we're influenced every day through music, TV, design, <sighs> color, even the latest blockbuster film, you know, that inspires us on what we're gonna create. So it's okay to copy, you know, we don't call it copy in that instance, we call it inspiration. Um, but developing it beyond that what you originally see into your own piece of work is where the, the true magic happens and where you'll feel comfortable as a creator because you're not ripping off someone else's work and claiming it as your own. And so when people reach out saying, can you create something in your style? That's when you get those kind of goosebump feelings, lovey-dovey moments, and you really want to do a good job for the next client when they do reach out and say that because every single project is a new chance for you to progress your skills and become someone unique that other creators will follow and get inspiration from. So that's what I'm trying to do anyway. I'm trying to create inspiration for you on what you could create. And uh, I think I'm doing it. Let me know down below if this video was any good or help or useful. It's probably, it's just on my mind and I want to get something out 
mainly I wanted to get that video out again so I could do a behind the scenes breakdown of it because, oh my gosh, the amount of work went into it. You have no idea. So, do you want to see it? Let me know down below. Have you entered my competition yet? Thank you to the people that have already submitted their entries. Amazing, obviously. I was going to try and hold fire on watching them, but uh, it got the better of me. Um, so thank you for the ones that have entered. If you haven't seen the previous upload on the rules of the competition, then please go look at it now. Enter. You've got until the 10th of June, which is a Friday. So you've still got plenty of time to create something cool outdoors. I have got to still film my part. I'm waiting for the weather to become something cool. I'm not sure what. I don't really want direct sun. That's the issue, you see. I, I, rain would be pretty cool, I think. So I'm kind of holding out for a thunderstorm, <laughs> which I've missed over the weekend. Enter the competition. Let me know down below if you like this video. And if you did, why not check out this video on screen now, which is what the client saw and inspired them originally in getting in touch and saying, can we do something similar? So check this one out. A lot of you have seen this one anyway, and it's, it's an old one again, but it's full of cool, animated, simple tests. All right, catch you on the next one. Ciao!